Hey, Sheppy. Yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Do you have some time? You know, I'm, I'm, my battery's running low, but I don't need to talk to you that long. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing fine, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. look. Uh, well, well, I, I, I get... I set myself up, up with, the, with the home pasta. So I bought, uh, yeah, it's a new uh, system that I bought up, set up at home. Yeah, so as I'm talking to you, I'm talking through my microphone, uh, kind of as a desktop microphone. Oh, so you're, you're going to be more technically advanced than anybody else in South Africa? What are you telling me? Well, uh, I, I think, uh, uh, I mean, probably there are some people that are pushing, are going this direction, yeah. And we have, we have this same set up at, at the school, at the School of Journalism. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, at, the end of, at the beginning of this year. Yeah, listen, I want to talk to you about so, a couple... Uh, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Uh, of course, you know, just yeah. what's, what's happening in South Africa, but more importantly, you know, because we, we keep on hearing about people like, you know, well, but of course, you used to hear about Zuma a lot, but now we hear, you know, about the EFF and, and Jesus Malema, of course, but whatever. But nobody talks about uh, Ubuntu, uh, 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 Holo, uh, Holomant, uh, Holomant, Hol Holomisa. Holomisa. I don't understand. What, 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 tell, tell us a little bit about the politics of South Africa. Let's put it that way. Uh. My, my sense is that uh, basically the opposition is uh, slightly um, out of food, you know, like uh, or, um, has been kind of out of guard by a, a number of things, yeah. And one of which is um, the... the, the <laughs> Kind of, you know, in the light of, uh, of an ANC that's not performing particularly well, especially when it regards when with regard to corruption and the, the growing incidence of corruption mm. um, uh, within within the, 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 the kind of the, 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 the governing ANC, the opposition has not been able to uh, rise up to the challenge. I think partly because they are also themselves are caught up in forms of corruption. I mean, of course. Yeah. Uh, because they're not they're not that big parties yeah. and also their proximity to power is not that close as the ANC. Yeah, so they are the extent of their own corruption has not been uh, particularly um, uh, uh, substantive or, or even let me put it this way, it's not exposed, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the extent that the ANC has, yeah. So I think we, we, we caught up in that. And then the second thing is that the, where the opposition has has been able to displace the ANC through, through uh, a popular vote, it has not been able as single parties to take over, except perhaps the Western case with the DA. It mm -hmm. has not been able to take over. So what it has done, it has gone into coalitions, which are the worst forms of, I mean, their performance so far has, has been disastrous to say that. So they have not been able to govern effectively because you can imagine each party has got its own manifesto, its own policy, and then they are trying to reach a compromise. And usually, these are parties that have always, all the time, been uh, criticizing, only criticizing the ANC. That's the focus of Simon that. Yeah, so, Bantu, Bantu Olomisa and his party, the UDM, was in a coalition in the Eastern case with a, 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 a number of parties, that initially also with the with the, the DA there. Mm. Um, and that coalition crumbled, you know, it crumbled partly um, as a result of, the, 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 I mean, at least around issues uh, revolving around the mayor. Well, Sheppy, uh, well, 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 you, you know, co coalition to me sounds like competition. That's the problem. Coalition is competition, and competition is not helpful <laughs> when you try to run one country. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then, then, yeah, yeah. then the other big thing is basically, oh, Africa, corruption, or let's say the world, governments, corruption. Oh, yeah, what else is new? <laughs> you, know, yeah. you can say yeah. you can say corruption all you want, but everybody says corruption. So what? Yeah, yeah. Well, in, in, in our instance, I think it's, a, it's there's something unique about it, and, and, and this is the fact that uh, when when we bought uh, um, democracy in 1994, just like you know um, most African countries, 
we went we uh, took over, you know, took power with a relatively uh, small, minute uh, middle class within the ranks of the oppressed people. But within the ranks of the former oppressors, it, um, they, they built, because you remember that the, 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 the whites in South Africa were like a, a, a settler, a colonizing yes. uh, uh, community, you know, constituency. There were there were settlers in the country, and there were you know unlike you know your, your traditional uh, colony where the, the colonizers are located elsewhere, and and they pay perhaps uh, in the metropole, and then they have the you know limited presence in the country. But here, yeah, it was an indigenous soul to speak. You know, it has been yeah. indigenized. Yeah, but didn't you, did, didn't you have two yeah. more? Didn't you have two more problems? The first problem was that you actually didn't win a liberation. You know, this is really an armistice. You know, it's like nobody, there was no bloodshed, nobody really won anything. And then the second thing is that you created, I would say you, I don't mean you, but you, know, you created a middle class. Yes. So you created a middle class, a buffer class. So the people, you know, you don't, you know what I'm talking about. Don't make like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm with you. I think, uh, uh, to the first question, I think you are right. It, it was not an outright victory. However, uh, there are um, instances where you, you don't necessarily have to win an outright victory for you to be able to effect a program of, of, of genuine transformation and, in fact, move in the direction of a genuine revolution. And so that entirely depends on, on the political will on, on those who govern. The, our constraints were limited to five years. It was the... the, the Sunset clause that within five years, you know, none of the civil standards will be cut and so on. And of course, I mean, it was a real serious constraint. I remember there, there is a story which uh, um, it, it does around, uh, like, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm just listening to you. Go okay. ahead, man. <laughs> there, there is a story which does around, like all stories, you know, uh, that, that sometimes, you know, in the form of the, or in the, in the rumor cycle, uh, I've never, never verified it, but it was to the effect that um, a, when we were looking for a director general of police, who is like a police commissioner in yeah. charge of the, 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 the actual operations of the police, the head of, of them, mm -hmm. at the national level, we, uh, there was a time when we recruited someone from New York who would come from the state, who was credited, who have sent things around in the state, and we came, we did uh, an interview, and part of the interview was to a, a sample of the police stations in the country, and then when he finished, he came and presented to the minister then uh, by the name of Siti Muhammad, and he said, look, I'm prepared to take the job, it's a, it's a huge, challenging job, I'm prepared to take it, but only on one condition, that every member of the police who is on the payroll be removed with immediate effect, and then they, uh, they can, all of them, apply, and we will then um, uh, filter through those applications and, and take only the, the well, kinds of people. Well, well interest, like interest, interest, interestingly people. enough, Sheppy, interestingly enough, uh, that's what they were, that's what we're trying to do not we are but that's what's happening in the United States they're saying a lot of these the police department they have to, everybody has to resign they have to go through a new process so they can weed out things or, or what, what things can change but let me get off of this right now because I don't have much time I think my yeah. battery is going to run out I want to get your take because things yeah. that happen in Africa especially Mali and but but bunch of other places that's the francophone country but but give me your take on what's happening in Africa the deposing of leaders you know young people younger people taking over and these old people going uh, I think somebody Die some old person die some other country. I don't know what Nigeria is doing, but but what's what's going on? Well, uh, so far as the development in Mali, I mean, for me, they are interesting. The countries that uh, I'm particularly um, I follow, you know, uh, relatively uh, okay with uh, with regards to the, the, the so-called francophone uh, countries in, in the continent, the French-speaking countries is Mali uh, and, and Guinea Conakry. Because both Mali and Guinea Conakry, they were the only two countries, or at least among the two countries, I think that's about the only two, who um, refused to form part of that um, uh, pact for the continuation of colonization in Africa, that France 
uh, engage the rest of the former colonies in at the, at the onset of independence. Because as soon as they were independent, France wanted to uh, to read up the treaty now, uh, a new treaty, you know, which which basically engages uh, 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 entices them into a continuation of colonization. I mean, it was yeah. it's incredible. Anyway, what happened is that those two countries refused. They said no, we're going, we're going alone. We don't want to be part of this. But independent, and and they're very very interesting countries. Um, of course, Mali is a, a long history. It was a part of a, a, a huge empire in that uh, part of the country, yeah. which goes way back before colonization. Yeah, yeah. So it's fascinating history, even history of of the uh, yep. institutions the, of higher learning. Yeah, go, go, go go back. To, you, you said Mali. Did you say Guinea Bissau? What, what what country was you saying? No, Guinea, Guinea, Conakry, Conakry. That's where Kwame Ture, Dr. Michael, Kwame Ture spent uh, his... Uh, 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 so okay, oh, okay, no, okay, 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 Guinea, yeah. Oh, Guinea, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Well, so, well, yeah that can... Well, I'm lo- also looking at this strife in... in, 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 in in Cameroon, as you know, Cameroon is basically, as far as speaking, half French, half English, or whatever it is. I mean, uh, there's all kinds of yeah. stuff happening after. I'm just trying to figure out, is, 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 this, is, this, is this upheaval, is this a wave, just like what's happening all over the world? Um, people are sick and tired of, of being sick and tired, as they say in the States? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping it's a new beginning, a new way in which people are, are sick and tired, but they are doing something. They are kind of uh, uh, the it, it, testimony to the agency of, of ordinary people. However, we have a history in all of these uh, African countries of interference by the former colonizers uh, because the, the country still uh, supply uh, a huge primary, you know, uh, resources to the to the to your former colonies. So. Uh, for instance, I mean, Mali itself, you know, produces cotton, and we don't know where it is processed and so on. So it, it's that, you know, the extent to which France can get involved in destabilizing you know, this country. Uh, so I, I am, I'm hoping that it's, it's an indication, it's still early days to say, I'm just kind of following things, hoping that it would be a development in the direction that the uh, uh, Burkina Faso, for instance, spoke in 1984. Well, look, uh, look, look uh, uh, Chevy, uh, 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 China not w- notwithstanding, I'm also looking at the United States and their whole military uh, things and all kinds of moves. Even the soft colonialism, where yep. where you have Barack Obama starting this this basketball league all over Africa. I'm just, uh, are they contending with those kind of things? You understand? There's uh, there's layers to this, not just the the formal the the former. Uh, uh, colonial powers is still there. There's other layers that's trying to come on top of that because it's nothing but resources and ports and, and oil or whatever have you. Yes, precisely, precisely. I think I think you're mentioning a very important part: the soft colonization that uh, uh, continues. I mean, uh, uh, we, we, I mean, we really and, and, and of course the presence of China in, 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 in this whole equation and the relationship with China has been quite. Uh, um, a problematic because although uh, potentially it provides Africa with an alternative uh, instead of being dependent on one set of partners, it's now kind of diversified. However, I mean, the terms of that relationship are very important. And I think that uh, I'm hoping that, you know, um, Africans are beginning to wake up, so to speak, politically. I mean, the term that you use to uh, become woke and uh, mm. because uh, precisely because especially young Africans yeah. because they uh, are in real trouble yeah. we do not I mean the, the most uh, fascinating thing about the continent is got everything that it needs if we could cut ourselves off from the rest of the world and trade among ourselves yes. we would strengthen yes. our economies yes. we would uh, become a force to reckon with well, perhaps you know the China rules uh, but now I mean uh, some people argue that, of course, it's impossible, you know, with the world that's uh, so interconnected. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, look Sheppy, let, let's let's stop. Let's end it here for now. But the next thing I want to talk about, maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe, I don't know, we, we, I want to talk really about 
um, who, who are people listening to now? You see, who are the next, uh, when I say people listening to, I'm not just talking about the PLO little movements that you, that you know about, or even the Jewish uh, Malamas, but who who else are people listening to? That, that That's what I really want to know. Not only in, in, on, the, on the continent, well, basically on the continent, but even off the continent if you want. All right, so maybe maybe we'll do that next time. You know, just think about it, because I know you do your research yeah, you're you're one of you're one of those yeah. you're one of those really on the ground lecture not only lecturers but just you know presence you, you know you're a journalist for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, man. No, no, the next time certainly. Yeah. Okay. We'll explore that. All right, you take care, man. Yeah. All my all my best to everybody. You too, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You too. You too. It's been great talking to you, man. All right, man. Take, all right. take care. All right, yeah. later. All right.